The Admiral Kuznetsov, the Russian Navy's sole aircraft carrier, has not been on duty for eight years, and it is increasingly unlikely that it will ever be on duty again. So in recent months, the Kremlin has, according to social media reports, transferred sailors from the decrepit ship to the army and sent them to fight in Ukraine, writes Forbes analyst David Axe. This is a startling revelation that highlights the Russian military's manpower crisis and also highlights the dilapidated state of the Russian Navy's largest warships, most of which are Cold War leftovers, the analyst wrote. That the Russians are apparently pulling men off the Kuznetsov is not surprising, David Axe notes, given that the Kremlin is going to extreme lengths to mobilize more troops to replace those killed in Ukraine. The alternative to stripping the ships of their crews could be a nationwide draft, which would be politically risky for Russian President Vladimir Putin's regime, he writes. Moreover, the decrepit 39-year-old Kuznetsov is unlikely to return to sea. In October 2018 the ship was seriously damaged when the dry dock where the aircraft carrier was undergoing repairs sank. Then, in December 2019 a fire broke out on the Kuznetsov itself. The Navy considered decommissioning the damaged ship, but then decided to repair and modernize it. The Kuznetsov was scheduled to return to sea in 2022. But in December 2022 a fire broke out on the ship. The ship was supposed to leave the port of Murmansk in northern Russia in the spring, for the first time in eight years. Instead, the vessel remains moored in Murmansk, the analyst notes. Any other navy might simply end the losses, write off the scorched ship and build a new one in its place. But Russian industry is probably incapable of building a direct replacement for the Kuznetsov or any other large warship which is why so many of the Russian Navy's large ships are former Soviet ships with decades of worn-out hulls and machinery, the analyst notes. As Pavel Luzin, a military expert at Perm University, points out, the main problem is in the engines. Ukrainian factories built most of the large marine engines of the Soviet fleet. Now the Ukrainians no longer export these engines to Russia, and the Russians are having a hard time setting up local production of similar equipment. Thus, according to analysts, at least some members of the Kuznetsov crew formed the so-called mechanized battalion frigate as part of the First Guards tank army. This battalion fought in the Kharkov region in northern Ukraine and then moved to the Pokrovsk region in the east. At the same time, Defense Express experts note that since the ship has been under repair for years, the crew members could have been offered to fight in Ukraine, and some could have been tempted by this offer. However, in their opinion, this does not mean that the Russians rode off to the shore as infantry the entire personnel of the only aircraft carrier. Russia has failed the launch of its RS-28 Sarmat nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. The missile that Russia has been using to intimidate its opponents, exploded right in the silo during the test that was carried out on September 21. It exploded right at the test site, leaving a giant crater in its place and destroying the test site. A user of the X social media, MyRC, reported this, referring to satellite images of one of the Russian missile silos. It is also possible that the missile fell during the launch attempt as four fire trucks can be spotted on the satellite image. Russia previously stated that the missile was already on combat duty. Sarmat is an advanced nuclear missile system whose RS-28's first stage engine named PDU-99 was successfully tested in August 2016. Yuri Borisov, the head of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, stated last September that the missile assumed combat duty. The incident on Saturday was not the first case of Russia failing the launch of Sarmat missile as this is the fourth such unsuccessful attempt. In February 2023, media reports that quoted two U.S. officials claimed that Russia carried out a test of an intercontinental ballistic missile that appears to have failed.